Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks so much for joining me today as I play with the gorgeous Thanks stamp set for a relatively clean and simple looking card. Although it does take it a bit of time to construct it, so it's certainly not simple really in the design. First of all, you need to cut about seven thanks using the gorgeous little thanks die that matches the stamp set. And then you'll see I've cut one from this longer piece of cardstock and I'm using it to rule up on my card front where I'm going to stick all my little white die cuts. So I've um, worked out where it's going to go, the angle I want it to be at, and of course the placement of the first thanks. And now I'm just using my fine tip liquid adhesive applicator to get a fine line of glue. Then I can remove my little template and I can stick the first die cut word down. Then I use that same little template to work out where the next row will go and I'm grabbing my ruler, eyeballing it and working out how far away from the word above I'll rule a line each time. And then it's just a matter of laying the bottom of this template piece down on that ruled line and then applying the glue so that you can stick the die cut down into the correct position. And I continue that over and over until the front of my card is covered. And obviously it's a um, very clean and simple look with all the white die cuts, but I'm using some foiling today and some rainbow colored stamping to add a bit of life to my card. So just continuing on with the process of adding the glue through the template and then adhering the die cut words down in the right positions. Once you've got a few, you'll see me uh, turn the card over and cut off the excess that's hanging over. And it's, I just continue doing that until the front of the card is all covered. Of course, you do want to make sure as I'm doing here that you don't end up with the words all lined up underneath each other. Uh, you do want to stagger the sentiment. It just gives you a much nicer look if you can do that. So you've got to be aware of that as you work out the placement of each line of words. Flip the card over, use a pair of uh, scissors with a decent fairly long blade and just cut off all the little excess pieces. Sometimes you can use some of these again on the edges but I tended not to. Try and make your lines light because you do need to rub them out obviously and then once your card is covered it's time to get your piece ready for your foiling. So I'm just adding the transfer gel to this thanks sentiment and then you allow that to dry. I'm just adding it with my finger. I could have used a paintbrush, but really it's um, gonna mean the paintbrush is gonna be washed off and maybe it'll damage it. So I thought, oh, my finger is just as useful. <laughs> so this is a very cheap laminator I got from Kmart. I think it was 20 bucks. I put it onto 80 microns and I'm just letting it warm up and the light's still flashing there while I'm getting my piece ready, working out where my little thanks is gonna go on this bit of rainbow foil pop it into my feeder piece of paper and then once the green light is solid it means that the laminator is fully warmed up and you can then feed your paper through holding everything in place in the center. I've sped this bit up here because laminators are notoriously slow. Turn your laminator off and then give everything a bit of a rub to make sure that the foil is definitely adhered and there's never any issue with that. <laughs> Um, it always does a great job with the laminator and then just gently peel it off and there you've got your beautiful little foiled word. So then it was a matter of deciding which of my white words I would stick this one on top of and I thought it looked best on this one uh, off to the side rather than one that was more central. 
and I'm just adding this over the top making sure it's all lined up and it really is so pretty with the gorgeous shimmer and shine from the foil give it a bit of a shine with the tissue and then I'm using the word many from the matching stamp set and to continue the rainbow theme I'm going to stamp that over and over above my die cut words in rainbow order I would be using mudra inks but I don't unfortunately have them yet so I'm just using something else for now so adding many over and over for my card working my way down filling in where there might be some gaps and then the last little um, embellishment I add to the card is some Nuvo drops and I just add those at the end into a few places where there was a little bit of extra room and it just gives that extra little bit of dimension uh, just to finish off the card. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've got some ideas for uh, cards of your own. And I just love that white on white look that you can get using your die cuts. And of course you can just jazz things up with a bit of foil and some coloured sequins or in my case some Nouveau drops. I'll be back again soon. I'll see you then.